Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to just go through some new goodies, some things that I wanted to throw in. Let's get started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is like a gift guide and girl. You see this bag? Full of makeup. You can hit up Marshalls and the Home Goods. They usually have them side by side. And in Home Goods, they had all kinds of makeup for sale out there. They had ABH blush kits, they had Kat Von D contour, and just all kinds of stuff. So I went a little bit crazy, but they always have such good stocking stuffers and everything like that. So the first two things I want to mention are the Peter Thomas Roth rose stem cell mask and the urban decay complexion spray this one is a mini and i really like this because i'm a face mist queen i love spraying my face literally all day long and so we're gonna do that right now and it has a very clean smell and a very strong mister and it's very even and the stem cell mask I love. I had a set with all these in there and this is the first one that I ran out of. This is one of those like you're going somewhere tomorrow and your skin has just been really dry. This is gonna be the perfect thing to take with. I also wanted to talk about the Pacifica Chael, Chael. I also wanted to talk about the Pacifica Kale Charcoal Detox Mask. I love this. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free, and it's just one of those masks that sucks all the nastiness out of your skin. And then for some wipes, these are the Avalon Organics Non GMO Vegan and Biodegradable Detoxifying Towelettes. Jesus Christ. These smell really good, and they did a really nice job at taking my makeup off, and I really like the ingredients that are in it. So, I also got this at Home Goods, and I think it was like four bucks for the pack, so I was like, I can do that. Now for foundations, I grabbed two, and they didn't have my shade in almost everything that I was looking for foundation and concealer wise, so that was kind of annoying, but I got these to be um, something that I can keep in my kit if I do somebody's makeup that's darker than I am, or if I want to mix in some with a lighter foundation, but I got the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation and this bottle is everything. It's glass, has a nice metal component on top, and it has like one of the dropper style applicators. So you push it down, unscrew it, and then it fills up with foundation. And I also got the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. I also got this huge blender from Sonia Kashuk. I really love their brushes and I had never seen this sponge before. And when I'm telling you, it's gigantic. Like this covers my whole face and I have a big face. Now, what I'm gonna do is take some Maybelline Fit Me foundation. This is in the shade 112. Lately I've been using 125, so this is obviously a little further away from my natural skin tone so that's why we're going to take some of these drops i love my maybelline fit me i think it is perfect but there are those days where you just want a little more coverage like that's with it mixed in and i think that's a pretty good match for my skin if we look at my neck in this area Right off the bat, it's looking super nice. And I'm just using a brush to spread it on because I needed something to mix it on my hand. So I've never ever enjoyed putting foundation on with a brush, but this one from Ahoy Beautiful really did a nice job. So I'm super impressed with this right now. So we're actually gonna use my Shape Tape in Light Neutral. This is just a go-to coverage wise. So I'm just gonna blend that out. Now, really quickly, I'm going to set 
these under eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade 112. And it's just a light, more pinky toned. And the light neutral is not as neutral as you would think. It has a little bit more of a yellow tone to it. So this just helps bring it back to my natural skin color. I'm also gonna pop some of that in here. I don't think I wanna set my face too much besides that because it feels like it already dried down. And I don't know if that's the cover effects drops doing that, but I don't think I'll need any more powder, which is nice for my skin because I have very dry skin. I don't really have anything new on the bronzer side of things. So I'm just gonna go in with one that I love. And a lot of my brushes are wet, so that's really annoying because I have to wash them today. But I'm gonna take my ABH bronzer and Tawny, and I'm going to Ulta. We might apply for a job. So I wanna look cute and snatched, and I want them to see me and say, we need this girl working behind our counter. You can really see the undertone and how it's very rosy and much less orange than a lot of other bronzers because a lot of bronzers, I can't really pack them on, but this, I can just go back in and back in and blend and we still look cute. They had every single Anastasia blush trio when I went. So when I'm telling you, I screamed a little bit and then ran. They were only $10 at Marshall's and I got cocktail party, pool party, Pink Passion, and then I already had Peachy Love. So we're gonna dip into Pool Party. And it has this shade in it, and I wanted to try to contour with this a little bit. And the reason I wanted to try that is because with the rosiness of the bronzer, I feel like the rosiness of this would kind of blend well and it's more of a cool tone, so it's gonna help suck those cheekbones in. She's looking painted today. I don't know who decided that I could have a good makeup day today like this, but thanks. So I'm gonna pick up some of this color over here, and I love the name. It's called Cash with a K. And we're just gonna pop that right on the apples of the cheeks. And what I like to do is just like two swipes at a time so I can like build up the pigment. And just kind of look, say, okay, you know, this is cute. So this is the side without the blush and the side with the blush. And it brings the cheeks even higher whenever you're placing your blush right on the apple. And I wanna try the shade Pageant in the middle it's got a little shimmer to it, which isn't my fave normally, but... I wanna do the tip of the nose with this a little bit just to see what the glow is like. So you see how my nose kinda has a little reflection now? That's what I try to usually keep out of here because I don't want all kinda shine. So I'm gonna go back in with this clean brush and just kind of clean up at the bottom and around in here. And I'm just gonna kinda go over the blush cause we're looking a little, a little clowny. And these brushes always seem to just keep a little bit of extra powder in them from whenever I do my face. And I like that cause I can just veil right over anything that's a little too much. So I think I'm gonna do brows now. I'm gonna take my ABH Brow Definer. A brow just does so much for your face, like. <sighs> so I want to play with the James Charles palette. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> There's so much makeup on this desk. One day I'll do an updated beauty desk tour. I did one whenever I first started my channel and it would be cool, I think, just to see how my collection has grown and my tastes have changed. 
because I know that there's stuff that I probably used back then that I may not like now and stuff that I use now that back then I was probably like, ugh, girl, what? Now I'm just priming my eyes with the Lorac eyeshadow primer. I wanted to talk about some Sonia Kashuk brushes and I have a few here. This is their big fluffy blender. We have a smaller blender here that's more of a flat rectangular shape. And then the one next to that one is even smaller. And then this one right here is perfect for nose contour. And I just love the gold and the black. It's so pretty. And then look at this brush, how cute. It just makes getting really detailed blending super easy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with Pinkity Drinkity. And I'm actually gonna take that on one of these smaller brushes. And I'm just gonna start that right up in here. I'm gonna take that tiny little brush and I wanna go into the shade Mary. Now on another tiny Morphe brush, this is the Pencil E30. And I'm gonna jump into the shade Punch Me. And then with Punch Me, we're gonna blend out that edge even more. And now with the brush that I use for Pinkity Drinkity, I'm just gonna go back over the top. Now with a nice big fluffy brush, I'm gonna go back into Pinkity Drinkity. And this is just gonna give us that interesting pop of color. And I'm using that to kind of blend everything together and make it more seamless. Back in with the small brush, back in with Pinkity Drinkity, and we're gonna go along the outer edge and then pull her out. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more Mary. I'm just gonna go right back over the outer edge because I feel like we lost her a little bit. So now I'm gonna take the shade literally and start packing that on the lid. Oh, this is gorge. I'm actually gonna take it on my pinky and just kind of go back over. Now I'm gonna take the shade so good. And then we're gonna go back in with some of that shade and just kind of re-blend the edges. I'm gonna take the shade Ring Light on an even tinier brush and I'm gonna really just press it in. I'm also gonna pop a small amount of that right up here. Oh my god. I say a small amount and then this is what we get. Now we're gonna go back into that shade and use it for the face. And this is not sprayed with any spray. Like this is in my opinion, very comparable to an Ofra highlight, like the Nikki Tutorials collab. I feel like theirs might be a little bit smoother, but glow-wise, this is stunning. Now, I don't want to overload the bottom, so I'm just going to go back in with the shade Punch Me. Now lipsticks, girl, we got lipsticks. We have all of these beautiful lipsticks right here. Uh, we have L'Oreal. This is in the shade 985 Daring Blush. We also have the shade Honey. This is a matte lipstick from ABH. I'm gonna use that one. Now, this is the L'Oreal Shine Compulsion Lipstick in Glossy Fawn. I'm sorry, this is the color Riche. And I'm just gonna pop that on top and see what it does. Now, I also have the color Masterpiece from L'Oreal as well. And I love the matte black with the gold packaging. I just. I'm a sucker for black and gold. Now, really quickly, I'm going to pop on some mascara. I'm gonna use the Butterfly Waterproof and some lashes, and I'll be right back. So I annoyingly got mascara 
on this look. So we're just gonna go back in and kind of just cover that up. But I'm gonna set my face with the Morphe Prep and Set. I'm just gonna take our little blender and bounce that in. I'm actually gonna take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm gonna use that to contour because it's a little bit lighter. All right, well, this is the final look. I really love this. I'm glad that I just got to sit down and have a little chit chatty video. And I hope you like how this turned out. And if you stuck here till the end, leave me a little like or something. And thank you so much for watching it all the way through and I'll see you on the next one.